Welcome to today's episode of The Journey with me, your host. My name is Sheon Adegoke. The Journey is a show like no other that takes you behind the scenes of the setbacks, the disappointments, and the failures that have come to shape today's success stories. With me on the show today is no other than the Nigerian nightmare himself, the current UFC welterweight champion of the world. Welcome to the show, Kamaru Usman. <laughs> Oh, I'll introduce yourself because I already sort of uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, it's a pleasure to be sitting with you. And Kamara, tell the viewers what you do. Well, I am a UFC fighter. Mm -hmm. UFC is the ultimate fighting championships, and it's the one sport which is called mixed martial arts. So, Kamaru, tell me, how did you start fighting? Because that is not a likely profession for a ninja person. When we immigrated to. Um, Arlington, Texas. Okay. Um, so I played football and, and seventh, eighth grade, middle school, I was okay. And then high school, everybody grew that summer. I didn't grow. <laughs> I was still five foot two inches tall, a hundred pounds, and that's you know after hitting the weights, I was still a hundred pounds. And I started playing football, and, and and everybody was just too big for me. And so the coaches, the assistant coaches, were wrestling coaches. I never heard of wrestling. The only wrestling that I heard of was WWE. I didn't know anything about real wrestling. So they kept telling me, why don't you come in and try wrestling? So I kept thinking WWE, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get hit with a chair. I don't want to do that. So they said, no, come in and try it. Come in and try it. And so towards that, after that season was over, I barely played just because I was too small. Then um, I was walking by the wrestling room one day and then I, I peeked my head in there to see what the guys were doing. And I saw everybody slamming each other, just, it, it, basically, it looked like fighting, but there was an art to it. It was a form of martial arts. And it scared me a little bit, but I, I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll think about it. Then one day I just had enough of it. I said, I'm gonna come in. So I went into the gym and uh, they gave me shorts and shirt. They put me in a group and we started wrestling. And then we had a girl in our group. And this girl, I didn't know anything about the girl at the time. I didn't know that this girl was the real deal. Like she knew what she was doing. And so we're wrestling, we're wrestling. This girl just beat the crap out of me. I mean, she just kept taking me down, just holding me down, slamming me, a girl. So she was dominating me. I later found out she was a three times champion at, in, in high school. I didn't know that at the time. So all I just remember is getting beat up by this girl. So every day I walk home, I was thinking in my head, I'm gonna get her back tomorrow. I'm gonna get her back oh, tomorrow. Yeah. So I kept coming back, kept coming and coming. Before you know it, it was like two months I've been in, the, in wrestling now. Mm -hmm. So one day we're wrestling, we're wrestling, and I hit a move, and I caught her in the move. And then, you know, I, the move worked, and I caught her in the move and for a second, and then all of a sudden she continued beating me up. <laughs> And then I walk so out. she was still beating you up. Yeah, she continued, she continued with the assault, the abuse. The assault, the abuse. Yes, and so I just remember I was walking home that day. And in my mind, I thought of, man, I learned something. I just fell in love with it. The next year, I didn't even try football or anything else. I just came back to wrestling. And I just got better and better. I started putting more and more time into it. And wrestling is kind of the sport that ultimately led me into the direction of MMA. Wow, yeah. that is beautiful. Beautiful story, beautiful beginnings. So you always had um, good enough support set, but you were secretly yeah. fighting. Yeah, I, I always knew that my, my parents were gonna support me. I mean, they raised, they raised me right to where I had to make the best decision that I felt was the best thing for me. And so ultimately- they your judgment in all. They would, initially, over time, but that, that was my job to let them know that this was the best thing for me. So initially, of course, they're gonna go by what they want, which is face your studies, become a doctor, engineer. And, you know, yes, I wanted to do those things. I stayed in school, I, I was facing my studies, but now this sport was requiring another part of me that I didn't know was there. Right. And so, you know, it kind of transcended me, built a, just a, a competitive drive in me that I, I never really knew I had. I knew I was competitive. You live in a house with three boys, not just boys, Nigerian Niger boys. Nigerian guys. Yeah, yeah <laughs> there's it's, it's always gonna be fighting, there's always gonna be arguing. So I was competitive, but this sport required a different level. And so once, it wasn't until my mom actually saw me wrestling on TV, 
to where she's, oh, now I know what this boy has been doing. She's like, that's, but, but that is my son. Though. Yeah, I but know what he has been doing. This boy, I would deal with this boy when he reached out, but. <laughs> That's my son is on television, so that's on television. Did you deal with him? No, when I got home, it was like, but moms, moms handle things differently. Right. You know, moms are the heart of the house. Of course. And so when I came in, she, of course, she was extremely proud. And then she told my dad, obviously, but you know, dad's, my dad was a military man, so he right. still couldn't believe it until he, he's one of those, I got to see it to believe it. Time. Right. And it wasn't until he came to the state meet my senior year to when he realized like, Oh, my, my son's actually good at He's this. He could, he, he He's could be good something. at this, <laughs> you know. But it, it was a sport that ultimately gave me the opportunity to go to college and have my college paid for, and you know, the rest was history. Now, let's talk about: Have you ever been broke? What? Tell, tell us a story of your the brokest day of your life. Ah. Uh -uh. I haven't been broke. Yeah, like plenty time. Broke, eh? Ah, that was my middle name, bro, when I was in school. So you make Amaru broke Usman. <laughs> ah, brokest Usman. That, that was, that was it. Oh, man. No, yeah. Um, and I was a co typical college student. I, I struggled in college. Um, I was broke, of course. Um, I would have liked more money to just do whatever I want. But... I think that was part of what made me who I am. You, you have to go through trials. I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. If you never have to struggle for anything, then why are you gonna? Why would you enjoy it? Would you even cherish it? You wouldn't. You, 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 you won't. You wouldn't cherish it too. You, I mean, you might cherish it. I'm not gonna say that, but you wouldn't. I know for a fact you won't cherish it as much. Right. You know, when you have to struggle for something, it's a different attachment when you finally get it and you finally earn that thing. And yeah, I was broke in college, man. I, I was one time I had uh, I had four dollars in my account, four dollars, and it was in my account for like four, almost a month and a half, month and a half, four dollars. <laughs> Did not move. I was just every day looking at it. That was right when <laughs> online banking was. You could start checking your balance online banking. I was costing nothing every day. <laughs> You're like Why? four dollars increase now. Why four dollars? <laughs> no, but it, it was four dollars, and it was a part where now it was like, okay, I can't just sit here with four dollars. I gotta eat. Right. You know, because at the school the cafeteria is only open to a certain hour. Right. So I'm a growing boy. I need to eat, mm -hmm. and so now I had to get a job. So I'm a student athlete trying to practice and train as hard as I can, face my schools, at the same time I had a job on the side. And you know, it was something that ultimately built uh, just another side of me, just, just it, it built that, that nature in me to where I had to work at all costs to get what I ultimately wanted. Yes, okay, thank you for sharing that, Kamara. Now let's talk about Capitol, roughly, I mean, let, you, you can just give a, a ballpark figure. Roughly how much did you ever need <laughs> to even, like how much have you ever invested? In, 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 and if you want to give us the exact uh i don't know the exact <laughs> amount i have to talk to like, the accountant <laughs> <laughs> like how much uh, like say you know when to get to where you are like how much did you have to put in because you said that oh. you had a scholarship through college correct? yeah so but, that was paid for yeah but I, I i left college in 2010. okay it's 2019 now. Okay. Somehow, somebody had to fund this somebody journey. Somebody had to fund something. Somebody had to fund this journey. But uh, no, it was just, I, I'm one thing that I, I'm always grateful because uh, I've always had amazing people in my life to be able to pour into my life, even if not financially, mentally, to just let me know that I'm on the right path. Right. And so, yeah, they, I've, I've had to, and in the beginning of this, now everyone sees the glam, oh, you're a champion, this and that, they right. see all the gold and all that. that. That's fine, but it wasn't always like that. When you start out in, in mixed martial arts, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm paying to fight. Wow. It's not, it, you, you're not just getting paid each and every day. I'm paying to fight. It's and paying to be part and of paying to yeah. fight. First of all, going through the training camp, going through the diet, because in order to provide the food that you needed to fuel you through those training camps, you, you, put, you go in, in you're in the hole for a couple of thousand dollars. Then you go and fight. When you start at the bottom, you're not making money. You, first fight might be 500 and 500. 500 if you win. $500 to show up, $500 to win bonus. So you win the fight, I walk away with a thousand dollars. But I invested 5,000 training for this fight. Yes. And so it, it took years to finally break even and become, you know, get to a certain level to where you can propel yourself in it. 
Wow. Yeah. So a lot of investment is needed. A lot, a lot of, of time, investment. A lot, a lot of, of time, yes. And you had to, of course, believe in the vision, believe in... Absolutely. So what is the worst thing that ever happened to you as a fighter? What is the worst, like, the lowest point of your career? The lowest point of my career, I've, I've lost. I'm not completely undefeated. I have lost a fight, and... The thing that I would say is, you know, it's all fun when everybody comes and watch you fight, everybody's excited, and that that's fun. That's great, you like it, you, you, you appreciate the support. But one thing about that is, it's a dangerous game. So when you go into, when you crawl in there, you crawl in by yourself. And when you crawl into that cage, that decision, what happens after that is on you. But when you win, you win with everybody. Everybody want to go to the club. Everybody want right, to party. Everybody, <laughs> yeah, popping bottles. Let's, everybody wants to do that. But when you lose, you lose by yourself. Mm. And this is what I mean by that. Everybody comes, you win. Everybody goes to the club, right, pop bottles with you, hug, and you know, you know that's Friday, Saturday, right. Sunday. Everybody's traveling back home. Monday, everybody's back to the work. Everybody's back to their wives, their kids, their lives. I don't care about you, not worried about your loss. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I lost. I have to worry about that. You gotta deal with the I'm in my house by myself, swollen eye, busted eye, cut face, whatever. I'm the one who's in that loss. Everybody goes on about their lives, but I have to feel that. And, and yeah, so you feel the physical pain. You feel and the, the physical pain, pain as well. and the internal pain. So yes, ultimately that loss was probably one of the worst things and it, it you know and probably one of the best things as well because it let me know that that was a feeling that I never wanted to feel again. You had to keep going. Yes. And name one funny, well, give us one funny challenge that you faced that back then it wasn't funny, but now that you're looking back at it, I mean, it kind of ties into the previous question. Yes. Now that you're looking back at this challenge, it's actually funny today, but back then, I mean, for example, you had $4 in your account. Like, it wasn't funny, but now it's laughable. You know? Yeah, I, I think... Um, the moments, there's different moments, different fun, like moments like that. That that one was a special moment because it forced. I didn't want to. I was on a full scholarship, but off season during the summer, I wasn't getting money like that. So, yes, my room and dorm was all paid for, but I wasn't getting money. So I needed money to be able to eat. Needed money to maybe hang out, buy extra stuff. That money wasn't gonna come from anywhere. I certainly wasn't gonna call, hey mom, I need money for some new shoes. Uh, I need money for this. That money wasn't gonna come. Mm -hmm. I've done my job, I've put you in college. That's your job. You know? Figure it out. Yeah, you, know, you gotta figure it out. So you're not so, from a wealthy home? No, I'm not from, my parents aren't wealthy. You know, I come from humble beginnings. And so now that propelled me to, you know what? I don't like the current situation that I'm in. I need to do something to change it. So you know what? I'm gonna walk my butt down to the the rest the Applebee's restaurant and, and and just put in an application. I went and put in an application, got hired on the spot, started training the next week. So we're going to uh, shift gears a bit. One thing I noticed about you is you rep Ninja. Till I die. Like, <laughs> you rep like you will have the Ninja flag painted on your face. Absolutely. And then what's that? What's your entry song? Shoko, shoko, uh, eh? Oh, you yeah, see me? Eh, eh? Shoko, shoko, baby, So are you a whiskey fan? I'm, 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 yes, I'm, I'm a whiskey fan, but I'm, I'm all of them. Like I just, I love the wave of Afrobeat that right. Nigeria's doing right now. I who's think, your favorite? I wouldn't say I have a favorite, man, because it's you know. Techno drops a, a new one every time. Right. Wizkid, Kiss Daniel, Malik Berry, you know, um, what is it, you know? Davido. Davido drops a, a big one. Like, uh, DJ Spino is big, DJ Tunes, you know, several, DJ Chief OB right now is doing his thing, you know, like, there's just so many of them, you know, and of course, Mr. Easy all the way down there in right. UK, you know, they, so many artists, they're always doing big things, and I like it. I love it. I love it. It's like competition. Each and every time someone's dropping yeah, something hot. So yeah, and it's keep peaking my interest and really keeping me entertained and intertwined in that music. Absolutely. I love that you always rep Ninja. So we're moving on to the next segment of the show where you need to prove to us how Nigerian are you. Okay. I'm going to shuffle these cards. When you lose, when you miss one question, that is a score for me. So it's going to be displayed on the screen. That is one score for me, okay? And that is, uh, and then when you win a question, when you get a question right, that is a score for me. Because you always, that's your green flag on your face. Green, green, white, green. You got on your face, shock, 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 up and down. Today, you're 
are going to prove it to okay. me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Da -da -da -da. We're going to play the How Nigerian Are You? All right. um, this is my first question. Okay. Grab it. Do you want me to read it or do you want to read it? Uh, you want to, I'll read it. Okay, I'll let you read it. Okay, okay, okay. Choose one dance. Shaku or Shoki? <laughs> you just kind of did something yeah. though, so... Shaku for sure. Shaku, okay. It's, it's more of a, it's more of a slow, a slow groove for me. Okay. You know, I, I like to keep it cool. I'm, a, I think I'm a cool guy. You're a cool like, guy. So cool. Shaku, Shaku goes. is more of a, you know, a slow. Okay, cool. let me sing for you. Oh yeah, Shaku, Shaku. You know, you know, so yeah. He's a little more aggressive. Right. I like it too, but I'm more of a Shaku, Shaku. Okay. Shaku. Oh yeah, show us the Shaku, Shaku uh, now. Yeah, oh yeah, Shaku, yeah. Shaku, yeah. eh? Shaku, Shaku, hey. baby. Change it up now, eh? Hey. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so one score for Kamaru, zero score for me. Okay, let's pick the next question. Okay. Let's see. Who is the first president of Nigeria? Hey. Ah. The first president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria uh, is. This one. Uh, it's not Donald Trump. Trump. It's, it's not, not Donald Trump. Donald Trump. It's not Donald Trump. It's not Barack Obama. Oh, it's not. No, no, it's not Obama. Mm -mm. A Niger, Niger. Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. You know, when you're growing up, you don't really talk. Who about, is right? the president? Yeah. You know, uh, Obasanjo was a president. but he was a, he, he was a president. He was, so, you know what? He's not the first, not but the first. at least you know one president. Because in fairness to Kamara, I mean, Kamara left, what, Ooh, age seven? Yeah, age seven. So, let me see, let me see. Uh, Inamdi. Uh, we give it you to you. Give we give it to you. Uh, you to give we give it to you. Good job. Good job. Memory set from yeah, seven from years. age seven. Ah. Age seven. Can you imagine? All right. Let's pick the next question. Next question. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Right, here we go. In one minute, list five crucial ingredients for I. Efori roll. Let's see. Efori roll. <laughs> Uh, five crucial ingredients of at least, at least you, something what goes into it i heard you're a good cook let's see salt of course That's we nice. need salt salt of the life salt of the earth yes we're african you have to it's a little pepper salt most, you know small pepper most if pepper not pepper day. so if salt and pepper says, pepper not day but they do talk like this mm. you know, so. Mm. so salt and pepper salt and pepper okay Oh yeah. Of course. You need your oh yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a hard one because Eforio is not a do it's not a do soup. No, so um I don't know what that leaves, of course. Leaves, yeah, leaves <laughs> vegetables. Okay, vegetables. Okay, okay, we'll give you that one. Come on, leaves now. Le leaves. <laughs> leaves is general. For general, general leaf. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Vegetables, okay. Mm. One more, one more, five. That's all. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's all I got. So, I'm gonna say onions, but yeah, yeah, yeah onions? yes, yes. Onions. Ah. So basically, viewers, Camaro's Eforiro has salt, it has pepper, it has leaves, uh -huh. it has oh, yeah. onions, and oh yeah, yes, yes. That's that's all. There's no meat. There's no. You know, are you a vegetarian? Nah, nah, you, you are you a vegetarian? Nah, I'm nah, so <laughs> so is this, that on the meat? Okay, so just vegetables and that, onions. Yeah, so. That was a trick question. Yes. Let's try and do Wyo here. <laughs> All right, let's pick another one. All right. How Nigerian one. are you? Oh, okay. Explain the African proverbs below. Okay, start, read the first one first. Mm. I can help first you read one. it. Yes, please help Okay, me. so Kamara is going to explain two African proverbs to us. The first one is, hot anger is not capable of boiling yam. Ah, uh, I'm going to just say, you know, you, can, you know what? You know, you can vest as much as you want. You mm. can be as angry as you want, but that's not going to change the situation. It's not capable of boiling the yam. Of boiling the yam, man. Yeah, you, it, you feel vest up and down, but you are, what is this? You vest cannot do anything. It cannot boil the yam. <laughs> you know, the, the funny thing about if, honestly, if, if your answer is wrong, but me, Seth, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> if, you're, if your answer to this one is wrong, I'm going to give it to you because I feel like we Africans, we'll be doing the most. Like, why you got to boil the yam in anger? Why can you not boil the yam with water? Mm. You you know, I so uh, then the next proverb is a goat that frowns his face cannot lack a buyer in the market. <laughs> a goat that frowns his face cannot lack a buyer in the market. 
Ah, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say, as African, we like goat meat. Ah, so you can fry and all you want as a goat. We are still chopping. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What is the un- what is the meaning of this proverb? That is the meaning. <laughs> that if the goat likes, see, like when the call choose goat meat, <laughs> you still going out. You still go yeah. out. So we still fry you. <laughs> you know this is another camera. Okay, if this is wrong, because I'm sure our viewers are like, no, That's that is wrong. not the answer. I beg you, but it's true. <laughs> The true that goat is may squeeze face anyhow, but if we want goat pepper soup, you must chop goat pepper. But you know the thing about this one is again, I'm gonna if the score is wrong, you guys have to give it to me because again, this is we I'm Africans sure doing wrong, the most. But it makes sense. But it makes sense it because makes... why should you buy a goat that is frowning his face as a buyer? Why should you buy a goat? Why is the goat frowning? First of all, ah, for, uh, the goat. No, you are you here for goat meat, nah? So the goat is angry. Ah, it's angry. Ah, Kabaru. Ah, nah. Me and you, we just I'm we just watch this one. Say, nah, brother, you say <laughs> <laughs> yes, nah. I mean, I, I, I mean, they said the goat that frowns his face cannot like a buyer in markets. As a buyer, you should not buy a frowning goat. So yeah, buy a smiling course, goat. So course. top three Nigeria professions. Every Nigeria parents mm, expects of their Every. child. Doctor. Uh huh. You mentioned it earlier too. Engineer. Yes, too. Doctor, hmm. engineer, and. Uh, I'm gonna say a lawyer. Yes. <laughs> yes, doctor, yes. engineer, lawyer. Those are the three professions. Of if you course. Are, if that's because... what I was like, how, how is the you tell me? You tell my brother I want to fight. It's fighting. <laughs> no, no, we are, we're not doing fighting. <laughs> Everything was a secret until it was a secret until I later. got good enough to tell them. I'm starting to make small money with this thing. Exactly. Uh, so, ah, okay. Uh, my child, my son. Come home. <laughs> Come home. You are doing your own TV. So. Your own TV. Yes, that's correct. Doctor, the lawyer, and engineer. So one point for Kamaru. Uh, what is the English name for? Hmm. Hmm. Let I'm me let me pronounce it for you. Me. You left Nigeria at age seven. What yeah. is the English name for Agbalumo? Agbalumo. You don't chop Agbalumo before. I'm not sure. I don't smell. I'm far come off from there. So I have and to you know tell what? You. I'll give this one to Kamari again because America does not actually let us bring Agbalumo. That's true. So you couldn't have had any exposure to it in the African stores. Agbalumo, the English name is actually African Star Apple. Okay. But I will let that one slide. Don't worry. This, this was a tough one. This was All a right. tough one. Ordinary Agbalumo, you don't know. Okay. <laughs> ah, you know, I'm Zero for you. <laughs> ah, give me, give me a break, man. Ah. <laughs> so name that ninja movie and actress. I'm gonna say the phrase from the movie. Sulia kan, ayeto kan. When I say Sulia, you say kan. When I say Sulia, you say kan. Sulia, Sulia, ah, kan. Sulia, kan, kan, kan. Okay. <laughs> See, I, that should you already give it away. I already know this one. Yeah, uh, you know it. I know this one. Hmm. I know this Kong. one already. Who is that? I want to hmm. uh, say. Of course, every Nigerian movie, everybody says Genevieve, you know. No, but it's not. It's <laughs> Genevieve not, yeah. K from no. Siriaco. I would say, is it Funke? Yes, look at that. Fun- What's her last name? It is Abi Bush boy. Yeah, it is Abi Funke. Akindele. Akindele, yes, or yes. What was the movie called? It's not Sandra. It's no, not Sandra. It's Gen- <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Jennifer. Oh wow, good Jennifer. job! I have to give you a high five okay. for that one. Okay, see. So, so you're done with your Nigeria movies. It's a, a Nigeria movies, and you know, back in the day, Indian movies as well. So uh, those are. So those, those yeah, are the specs. Those are the specs. <laughs> those are the special, you know, movies. Good job, good job. All right. All let's right. Pick up the next and last question. Next. I'll let oh, you. Oh, let me, let me, let me read this one for you. The popular Ninja phrase, no long thing, was coined by who? No long thing, no long thing. Okay, you have to give me a pass on this one. I was only seven, you know, uh, eight years old. No, this no long thing is, is, is but you were at least know, a teenager for no long thing. Ah, uh, no okay. long Okay, first of all, what does no long thing mean? Uh, no long thing, no long thing. No long thing. I, that's like saying uh, it's not a problem. It's, you know, it's okay. nothing. Uh, you know, like it's nothing. No long thing. Be anything. Uh, uh, <laughs> good job. Good job. Yes. Uh, this was the bench. The bench. Are you the bench fan? The bench. I've heard of them. But okay. I, I can't. I being honest, I can't just say, "Oh, I was a fan," just to jump on right. the bandwagon. But right. No, but I, you, yeah, you, of course. You have heard. I'm, I'm sure you've heard his music as yes. well. Um, Kamara, so now I want to learn about self defense, especially for we for for your female viewers. Um, okay. And I know you have a lot. Uh, give me, give me. I guess small, nah, nah, no, no, small, no. just small, small. Bro, 
your own yourself. small, your own small can be one dirty slap on my face right now. Just give me the just. Small. No, see the thing is, uh, it took a lot. It took a long time and a lot of years for me to learn how to, you know, not only defend and dismantle my opponent, you know, but it, it's a lot of it's a lot of study that goes by it. You know, but for the everyday person, one thing that I would say is if you realize that you're in a situation to where this is going to go left quick yes. and, you know, you go, it might get physical. The best thing, you know, back the, even back in the day, you learn this as a kid. Be fast, I beg. You know, be first and at least run. I, I, I walk on your speed, you know. So you can first first, walk run. on your speed. You know, one of the biggest things that you know at that time is, if you're, unless you're a professional and this is you know scheduled for a time period, there's really no time limit to how a fight's gonna last. Yes. Most fights don't last long. That's true. So, I'm gonna be first. If it comes down to where you know we have a problem with the school, yeah, we're mm -hmm. making noise, this and that, you get in my face. You know, I'm going to be first. Whether it's, you know, if you don't know how to punch, most people don't. You don't want to break your hand. Make sure your hand is, is nicely lubricated for the dirty slap. Mm. So you must, oh yeah, oh oh yeah. yeah. put small pepper itself, make oh you know, yeah, the pepper, tea like hot. Your, like your uh -huh. Put pepper, <laughs> With the salt. you know, just hide down. If you put more small powder to give the, mm. you know, for dramatic effect, effect. Mm -hmm. you know, you always want to be first. You realize, I'll, for me, I could always tell when it was past talking, right. it was going to get physical. Right. So you have to be first. Okay. You know, so it might be one of the things you, you know, you look away. No, I don't want to fight. And this one, no too much. I want to turn around. Uh, yeah, just that's it. Like you that. must, yeah, you must, you, you gotta make it the traumatic. Make sure say, the powder really, you know, flat. So up. then the effects, yeah, of, you know, the, the effects. Thing. And then make sure there's people around, at least if you know you can't run that fast, there's people around that are gonna be able to break this up. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's good friends because useless friends will say, okay, no, just let them fight, let them yeah, fight. Never, no, don't do that. To be able to you it. have to be able to. So, Boom, that at least that one got it. Even if you you know they get three or four so good that, hits. That, that, first, one is that like, first one was the dirty one that everybody realized. So that, if that, I was supposed to be the first time, how yes. would you block me now? So oh, me? Like, see, Wait till ah, uh, which one? There's no same rule. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, is it also you will beat me for this show? Ah, this wasn't a part of the game. Yeah, so. it's part of it. Ah, it's part of it. Okay. To beat you right now, it's so different. I'll just go like. Yeah, if you're going, I mean, it's different. I can. See. That's so you thing. allow me beat you? That's I'm, what I'm I'm I'm, saying. I'm, I'm small now. You, if you try, you know, I know. I know. <laughs> you won't do you anything. You know, who kill me, but if you try. Eh. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. You saw the block. You saw the reflexes. Y'all saw the reflexes though. You see it. I love it. That's and that's why you're a champion. That's how you do it. Yeah, it's just, you know, you train so much to where you, now it's, if that was to happen, you it's, it's kind of like I can feel it, I know what's coming, you know, because that's part of the training. It's mm -hmm. learn how to manipulate the body, knowing the body, things are going to happen. So, Absolutely. Yeah, I feel it. Man, you are a real champ. You Thank are you. a champion. Kamari, you are doing the entire continent of Africa, not just Niger. The entire continent of Africa, you're making us proud. Thank you so uh, much. This has been beautiful. This has been fun. I, I, I before it's we go, I do have a Amazing. gift for you. I brought you do. mashed yams mashed, with leaves mashed and yam. melon the, Let's call it the traditional name. Padded yam. Padded yam and egusi. Egusi. Yes. 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 Scientific yes, name can, this. Can I please get mine, please? Why, boys? Ah. Do you want to use your hand or which one do you want to do? Ah, I'm mind. not a bush boy. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> a, 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 a correct American. Yes, so you are not. No, we must so we use, use hand. Our hand eh? Of Let's course. Wash our hand now. Let's wash ah. our hand. Ah. Why would we not wash our hand? Sister, thank you. Ah. <laughs> we will wash our hand. This is correct. Pounded yam with a goosey. AKA melon seeds with leaves and mushrooms. Ah, I knew I was smelling something when Correct. you walked in here. Uh -huh. so, so, I. So, you eat this on a regular, right? Unfortunately, and not you anymore. You let it unravel. Hey! And, uh, Correct you, guy. Let it you unravel. Let, you let hold it this. unravel like that. Let it come, man. <laughs> No, for when I was younger, of course, I, I was able to eat this every day, but now oh, I can't because, okay. you know, part of what I do is I have to be on a strict diet. Right. 
So with the diet, it makes it very hard for me to be able to eat and consume right. things like this on the regular. But, okay. But yeah, of course, you know, right. you cut it. You Do know, you, you when, you are, you when you are young, you know, you must play the games now. Mm. You roll it, roll it, okay. ah, okay. throw it, catch hey. it. Yeah. Look at that you know, catch. But you know, you have to create the pockets to scoop the soup where mm. where. You know, create, create the, the pockets. See the, the degrees. Not okay. 45, but a good in a yeah, pocket. good enough pocket. Then you scoop it. Yeah, you scoop it. Okay, okay. Mm. 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 Ninja. Ah, this thing is sweet though. Aye. Mm. Mm. Hey. Okay, so you press it. Press it to make throw. sure. No, you don't want to throw too much. Uh, yeah, because you know, beginning. yeah, you don't want me to laugh you now, you uh, know. Especially if you are busy throwing. Usually, as an African parent, you know, for a child, uh -huh. you eat together. Uh, okay. It's not every, you not an African, yeah. it's not an African home. Everybody has their own plate. We eat together in one plate. So, okay. especially like me, if you have brothers and sisters, if you are busy throwing your party jam up, everybody's eating. By the time, <laughs> by the time yeah, your father like, like, don't lie, boy, don't eat three, it's four, two cuts. Yeah, so you know, don't waste time. <laughs> you must eat. Mm. All right, Kamara, this has been so good. Oh man, Kamara and I are just going to finish up on the DM because yeah, we, so, we, we uh, are going to be here for the next ten minutes, y'all. I mean, you can stay and watch if you want to, but we do hope that you join us on the next episode of the Journey, a show that takes you through the setbacks, the failures, and the disappointments that have come to shape today's success story. Yes, Kamara. Sir. Any, uh, any any sign of words for the viewers? You know, like we say, you know, in the doors, na waka where, mm. you know, we are eating na waka when I come join us. Come join us, please. <laughs> We're making them hungry. Thank uh, you, viewers at home. Thank you.